Yeah, so I realized after I did all of the macrame curtain work and I got it done and I love the way it looks because it's really pulling things together, I do have those ugly brackets that I have to do something about because I understand they are an eyesore. That was not ignored in last week's video. But what my idea is is crocheting some of these um, flowers here. If I put one of these on each of those mini blind brackets, then that should be a pretty well camouflage. Yeah. So to help with your visual, this is the bracket that I wanna cover and I wanna crochet a flower to go on each end. All right, so this is the progress that I'm making here. This is turning out lovely, I think, but this has been very difficult to crochet because this is 100% cotton and it is cording, it's macrame cording, it is not yarn. There is no give, there's no elasticity to it. So when you're pulling it through, you're really, you have to work it. And because it's so thick and it's such a wide uh, crochet needle, it's really kind of a, a headache. But this is just my sample one, so I'm fine to do it, and I really do like the way it's looking, but I have to consider what I'm going to crochet with to make these. So here we go. This is a completed sample flower. This is the little loop that I've made. I've sewn on the back here. Let's see how it looks on the window. This millimeter, I believe it's a five millimeter, 100% cotton uh, macrame cording is just a bitch to cro or crochet. It's just really hard on the hand. I believe that this flower is gonna be way too big. <laughs> bring it with me as I kind of shop through my inventory here for uh, maybe some macrame cord or some yarn to see how those give us some some sample flowers to look at as far as the macrame goes this this is what I was using and this is that five millimeter cotton and it was just you know I'm done whining about it I also have I have a bunch of the twine bunch of it so I'm, I'm going to definitely pull the rest of it out of the box here. I'm going to definitely do a flower out of this. I'm curious when I get that crocheted what size the flower is. I do like that it's still a natural color, even if it's not the same as this, you know. At least they still could complement one another. I'm not a beige mom. Don't put me there. <laughs> but this is one option. I was looking through my yarn here and I just don't, you know, this is all accounted for. The denim color that's too dark, the gray is too dark. I don't want that on the wall. That's too rainbowy and it's too thin. I need something thicker to use. So, and this is, this is just too blue. This is my yarn pull. I'm gonna do a review on this one day for you guys. I haven't used it yet because I've been double stranding the works I've been doing. So I, when I work on a single strand project, you'll get the review. I'm kind of excited to see how it works. All of these bits and pieces in here are just too, they're not right. I mean, I mean that, that would be really lovely, but I don't wanna do that. I don't want to do that. It's too much contrast when I want it to match, but I don't mind a little bit of it being different. So that's a no-go. But none of these in my stash here are going to work for this project. Well, what else? I might have missed a couple down here. I do. I could do greens. This one here was one I did uh, my shawl with, so that's an option. I got this one here, and I think I would run into the same problem even though it's earth tones, and it might kind of match. It's, it's a thick yarn again. I got a feeling that that's my only option. Thanks for shopping with me, guys. <laughs> Just kidding, let me show you what I did. So I went ahead and made flowers with these different yarns here, and you can see the difference between them. I'm going to start with the worst, and that was the twine. As you'll see, there is no flower because it was absolutely difficult. I didn't even try it. 
Number two is the macrame here. This was just our test one. I didn't have enough and it was too difficult to, um, it was really hard on the hands and the strain and I wouldn't have moved forward with this even if I had enough of it. So then I moved into this denim one here, which was nice. It's got a nice floral shape. The size is getting a little bigger. This is a hand spun one here. You can kind of see the difference with the yarn and the size that the flower turned out. This one here is a chenille, and this one here was uh, one I crocheted a shawl with here. But you can tell by the thickness of each strand how wide or how thick each flower turned out to be, thick or large, whatever word you want to use, right? Um, but after doing all of these, I'm kind of liking this one best, which is kind of funny because this is the one I was a hands down, no way. I don't like those variegated colors. This one looks the nicest. Let me go show you. Like, this was ended up being my first choice. It's thick enough where, you know, it holds like a really nice form. I think the red is lovely. It's still also thick enough where it holds a really nice shape. So the, those are our first two contenders. Um, this window here I don't care for as much. I think the green is just way too small. And the blue, I think, matches the color tones in here. Uh, it's large enough, but I don't know. I'm not really that excited about that one. So it comes down to these two here. When you step back and look at it, you can't even see the brackets anymore. So I think my project is almost done. One thing I would like to do is just get these trimmed down to size. And then, I don't know, I think it looks really cute. I'm really kind of pleased with the way that turned out. Hi guys, it is June 22nd today. I wanted to show you my garden because this may be um, my last week where everything's in bloom. Yep, that's the one that you started by seed. Okay. This is a surprise here. This is a little purple heart. I had two of them and I planted this over here. This just started to grow. Hmm. Which, because it gets, surprise. it gets, um, full shade and so I kind of thought it was a goner well, here we go yeah look at all the color yeah yep and it won't be long before all of the uh, black eyed Susans are open these guys are pretty much gone you touch them and they just fall off mm -hmm. yeah, but autumn joys I mean ours don't even have full poofs on them yet and yours are already turning pink I bought them more more mature know, though, so that makes a big difference. Well, ours is on its second year. I don't know how old these yeah. were when I bought them. They could have mm. been a three year old or a two year old plant by the time I picked it up from where did I grab it? Home Depot or somewhere. See how pretty this color is. That one got crunched down, so I don't know if that's a cat or if he accidentally stepped on it when he when he did all of the uh, trimming. I'm not upset about it though. I should almost trim it down and put it in a vase in the house. <laughs> But yeah, everything is in bloom. Absolutely, everything is in bloom right now. Even these guys here, which are starting to fade back, but technically they're still in bloom. Nice. Yep. One thing I find interesting about the ombre is these ones tend to fade really quickly. And those ones over there stay very vivid and heavy in color. So I got three different varieties and look how different. Yeah. Not that I mind because look how bushy they got. So that's still a win. Yeah. And these got all nice and thick. So I gave those a cut down right before Michigan, and this is how thick they've come back. Oh, it's looking really good. Yeah, these guys got tall. The Mexican petunias, they just haven't opened up yet. They open later in the day. Yeah, and, and look at how tall these are. Beautiful. Now look at that little uh, Mexican or um, purple heart compared to the size of this one. Oh, yeah. Right? And it's like all the little flowers open up in the morning, but not this time of day. Woo! That's the one you started from yeah. seed last year. But everything except for that little lavender, and he's been moved around a lot, so I don't know if he's going to bloom or not, but absolutely everything is blooming. Beautiful. I mean, that's garden success, isn't it? Absolutely. A lot I mean, of progress. Even these ones I'm not taking care of are blooming. 